my favorite dream. When you had to blow that whistle. What? Oh, gorgeous. Big, round, beautiful. What? A hot, delicious apple pie. And you had to blow that whistle. Quiet. I can still hear you. Oh, boy, is my back broke. Do I have to poke that gun again today? Yeah, and all we do is walk. I joined a cavalry so as I could ride. Ain't you been informed? This is the unmounted cavalry. Unmounted is right. Ain't they cute in their nighties? <laughs> yeah, cute little rascals. Hey, you want to make anything out of it? Sure, the upstairs gang is at your service anytime. Just ask for it. We'll have, but we won't send you an invitation. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, gang. Fight the lark that kills so pretty at the break of day, will you? Sergeant Gray, ten, jump. Fight a number. One, two. Wait a minute, wait a minute, as you were. Remember, the general sleeps till 10. Did you try them bending over exercises? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me to face the radiator? Now, give me my coat. Yes, sir. Some exercise the show will improve your disposition. Uh, in a distance, sir. Don't I ride horseback to the cantonment every day? Yes, sir. But maybe it's the horse that gets all the exercises. I'll take care of who gets the exercise. Gentlemen, sir, we forgot your shirt. We forgot my shirt? Yes. Sam, you good-for-nothing lazy... Someday I'm going to take you apart, piece by piece. And I suppose we forgot to take the pins out. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning. Did you see it? The car? Come on. Very new. Like it? I like both of you. Oh. Now you've got the shirt on over my suspender. That's the general's mood this morning. And he hasn't even seen the car yet. You bought it without asking. Uh-huh. Well, you picked a fine day to break the news to him. Ooh, maybe I better ban it. Oh, the general's daughter retreating under fire? You tell me what to do. You've studied strategy. Remove the evidence till after breakfast. Right. Peggy. Good morning, Daddy. What are you doing up so early? Breakfast with the general. Breakfast? Go on. Daddy. No, I'm late now. War on my hands. No time. General, you've said repeatedly. An army marches on its stomach. Napoleon said it first. You're going to have breakfast? No, huh? Please. All right. I'll eat it, but I won't enjoy it. You're the sweetest daddy in this beautiful old world. Who says it's a beautiful world? Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Ted. Uh, Tommy, are the horses there? Whose car is that? Yours, Tommy? No, sir. It's ours. What? Yes, we just bought it. Only $70 a month. What was the full price? Well, $79 a month. But that includes insurance and everything. The full price? Just a teeny-weeny bit over $3,000. A teeny weeny bit over my dead body. Be careful, Daddy. You'll have apoplexy. Well, I will if I want to. Home from school only two days, and I'm in hock for three thousand dollars. Tommy, call up that agency. Tell them to take it away. I believe it's rather early to call the agency, sir. Well then, later. But call them. Yes. Now then, what for breakfast? Wheat cake, sir. Wheat cake. Every day for a week. In this great big country, there must be one egg. Sergeant Gray, how many times have you been ordered to report for inspection during the past two weeks? Three times, sir. You soon get to know me well enough to call me by my first name. Yes, sir. What? I, I, mean, I mean, no, sir. Uh, 
appears you overslept this morning. Yes, sir. Not overworking you, I hope. No, sir. I, uh, I didn't hear the first call, sir. Hearing, Paul? No, sir. Well, haven't you a reasonable excuse to offer? Yes, sir. The, uh, the man in the cot next to me kept me awake all night. Doing what? Snoring, sir. That's the best excuse you can think of? Yes, sir. Well, if this occurs again, you'll be denied leave for an entire month. You understand? Yes, sir. Well, that's all. Two prunes. Old prunes with wrinkles. We declared war against the wrong guy. Prunes. Why don't they give us a breakfast like I used to get at home? Everything from soup to nuts. Thanks. Hey, vinegar foot. Did you page me, sir? You has got any more of these gaskets? Yeah. We're just fresh out. Hmm. You belly robbers give me a pain in the neck. Nice work if we can get away with it. Listen, buddy, Gray's won enough bets from us guys to pay for a million flapjacks. The guy draped with horseshoes and festooned with four-leaf clovers. Yeah, but he never fails to loan a pal dough. And he never fails to collect either. Hey, you got a nerve taking Gray's cake. Hey, it ain't fair to cheat a buddy out of his patty cake. I'll mind this one for him. Where is that sleepy sergeant? Ah, uh, he's in conference with the officer of the day. Probably working on a plan for having his breakfast served in bed, though, he's stiff. Hello, <laughs> General. Where's your tape? Bet you did. Only a two to one. How about the wigs, you old boy? As you were, men. We were so upset, Roberts, when you was late for breakfast. Your orange juice got warm and your patty cakes got cold. Oh, it's okay. I don't miss the gaskets anyhow. Oh, no? No. As a matter of fact, I was thinking very sorrowfully of you boys this morning as the officer of the day and I dallied over breakfast. What? Only the O.D.? I thought you'd invited the general staff. Gray, do you want to bet me you had breakfast with the O.D.? Hey, I'm in on that. And me. Me too. Oh, all set for a killing, eh? Well, I'll go you one better than that. Yeah? I'll lay you even money. Yeah? yeah. And I'll have breakfast with the general. Oh, sure. Maybe after the war. No, within a month. And will that breakfast include patty cakes for the sergeant? Oh, no, 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 no. He'll have roast pheasant on toast. You mean roast mule on bran. Listen, you mugs. Even money I have breakfast with the general, including patty cakes. How about that? Ho, oh, ho, what, no takers? I'm disappointed. How would a two to one bet interest you pikers? Come on, five will get you ten. Oh, no, not me. You're taking me to the cleaners too often. Yeah, maybe I haven't been hooked for plenty. Hey, for a guy that just had breakfast with the O.D., you seem mighty hungry to me. Prunes aroused the sergeant in me. Yeah, that's more than Reverly does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Muggs, I wouldn't be surprised if we sailed in a week. Anybody want to bet? I'm through being a sucker. Yeah, it's the way he springs them bets to get me. Like that. And before you know it... You bite and you're hooked. Boy, you're stupendous. <laughs> be in the army. What would the army be if we didn't happen to be in the army? There'd be no army. Imagine if we had joined the Navy. What would the army be if we ever happened to be in the Navy? There'd be no army. But when there's work to be done, it's what the all and all for what the Navy needs the Army. But all we need is a gun. It's lucky that we are in the Army. If we had a gun to see, where would the Army be? That's the question. Here's the answer. The Army would be a darn sight better off. We happen to be in the Army. Where would the Army be if we didn't have to be? In the army, there be no army. Where would the army be if we ever happened to be in the army? There be no army. 
in the Navy, there'd be no army. But when there's work to be done, it's one for all and all for one, the Navy keeps the army. And all we need is a gun, it's lucky that we are in the army. If we had a gun to see, where would the army be? That's the question, if we answer, the army would be the last I'd ever Come on, come on, two bucks. Hey, just a second. You remember a week ago Sunday? What about it? What about it? Who paid the check in that Chinese restaurant, huh? I did. You owe me for half. It was two bucks, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I've been Jip. This is my own two bucks. Yeah. So what? You paid me. I gave it to him yeah, and yeah. You gave it, he gave it yeah, to you. What I do you mean? Nothing. All right, chumps. Line up and shell out. The little memo book reads, Brother Beans bets wrong, 11 bucks. Thank you, Brother Beans. Better luck next time. There'll be no next time. I'll bet you five bucks. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Sergeant Gray presents his compliments to Sergeant Tubbs and requests the payment of five bucks. My dear Sergeant Tubbs, do you really believe one buck is worth a sock in the eye? That squares us, pal. Yeah. Just a minute, Jake. It's all there. Count it. There's a whole month's pay. Yeah, I know. I should have only bet half as much. Supposing I'd lost. But you can't do this. Who says I can't? I guess I know when I bet too much. Gee, thanks. Brother Turner owes uh, $16. Why, you double-crossing patty cake lifter! Hey! Get done! Did I get it or did I get it or did I get it? Whoa. 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 Are you hurt, sir? Are, are you all right, sir? Are you hurt, sir? Hurt? No. I'm I'm where the who uh, take that thing away. Yes, sir. Why you I'm here. Yes, sir. What do you mean crashing into my horse? Nothing, sir. Nothing? What's your name? Gray, sir. What were you waving under my horse's nose? Sixteen dollars, sir. Sixteen? Say, what's he eating there? Why, you... Take him to the stable. Yes, sir. No, the horse! Take this horse. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear Gray tell the old man where to head in? I thought it was the general telling Ah, don't you know Gray's voice yet? Oh, sure he does. But Gray talks so low you can hardly hear him. <laughs> well, you might as well keep the change. Come on. Eight. Eight right. That was a nine. It was an eight, I tell you. That was a nine. You're gonna believe me or what you saw? Guess you're right. You always think twice before you think anyhow. Shoot a quarter. I'll take a dime. I'll take a nickel. I'll take the other dime. That's a hard one to miss. Come on, fool. Quarter after quarter three. I bet. <laughs> Say, how do you spell adorable? Like this, my friend. Oh, oh boy. Say, you're lucky in everything. Ah, uh, she's a sweet kid, Beans. You know, real and homey. <laughs> and a good sport, too. We grew up together, neighbors. We used to go every place together. You know, Beans, I think I ought to get married before going across. You know, that sounds like a good idea to me.
I'm going to wire right away. Slip me a piece of paper. Sure, here. And uh, good luck. How'd you address your future wife in a telegram? Hey, fellas, latest war bulletin. Gray just announced his wedding. Baloney, no girl's dumb enough. She thinks I'm the only sergeant in the army. Yeah, well, of course, if she's that dumb. Telegram for Sergeant Gray. Telegram for Sergeant Gray. Telegram for Sergeant Gray. Telegram for Sergeant Gray. You looking for me? Are you Sergeant Gray? Uh, nobody else but. I got a telegram for you. Oh, probably from the general. Sure. It says, Dear Pal Gray, can I have the pleasure of your company at breakfast? Affectionately yours, the general. P.S. We will have patty cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, lad. Thanks. What's the matter, buddy? Bad news? No, of course not. Well, but then what are you looking so sad about? Sad? Oh, I... I, uh, just received a mild shot. They, uh, they just struck oil on my Texas ranch. Did they bring in a gusher? Oh, Twenty... How do you like them apples, chumps? At ease. September 13, 1917, Florida. The following men are given three and one half hours leave, beginning at 10 a.m. on September 10 and ending at 9.30 a.m. on September 16. Sergeant Solomon, Sergeant Banning, Sergeant Gray, Sergeant Turner, Sergeant Johnson, Sergeant Swift. Well, shoot, shoot. Don't wait until morning. Just planning my line of attack, General. All right, go ahead and attack. Okay. Hello, Captain. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Hello, Tommy. Out in the rain. $3,000 a taxi. Uh-huh. Too much English there, Captain. Tommy, did you bring the order? Yes, sir. This first one's my special nudging, sir. Hmm. War Department. The Intelligence Department again reports that enemy agents active in the vicinity of your command continue to obtain information regarding troop embarkations and other secret matters, apparently traceable to leaks or carelessness within your own division. You are instructed and so forth to take immediate steps and so forth. By George, this is serious. Leaks or carelessness within your own division. Secret agents. They're spies, aren't they? Spies? Of course they're spies. That's the second notice, isn't it, sir? No, third, but we won't discuss it now. Tommy, issue an order that the staff meets tomorrow. Yes, sir. But you said your taxi service is for enlisted men only. How does Tommy Raid arrive? He's an officer, you know. Yes, how about that, Peg? It's after hours. And besides, Tommy doesn't count. Mm, that's right. You should stick to officers. Why? Well, you're the general's daughter. I never forget that. That's the stuff, Peg. Just the same, it's bad for the men. It weakens their morale. Giving them a ride weakens their morale? Of course. You, the general's daughter? Discipline's bad enough as it is. Well, by the way, I heard that one of the non-coms made a bet that he'd have breakfast with you. With me? A non-com? Tommy, have you heard anything about this? Yes, sir. The bet was that he'd not only eat breakfast with you within 30 days, but that you'd also serve him with, well, with patty cakes. Patty cakes? Yes, sir. <laughs> patty cakes. <laughs> well, for crying out loud, I'll be a spotted monkey. Patty cakes.
General staff meets sharp at five. Yes, sir. Right, Sergeant, headquarters. Yes, sir. Well, uh, uh, thanks for the lift, miss. Yeah, that, that goes for me, too. And me, too. It was sure nice of you. Only too happy to be of service. Oh, that service she looks. Uh, never mind the crack, she's a lady. I said she looks. Uh, thanks is enough. Never mind her looks. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's go, fellas. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, uh, thanks again, and goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Hey, what a dope I am. I forgot to get her name. Somebody kick me. <laughs> She's what I call class. Yeah, up to now, it's been a great war. Looks as though that guy's gonna spoil it, though. Yeah. Come on. Why should I tell the boys who I am? So they'll have the proper respect for you. As soon as they find out, they'll be scared to death of me. And that's just what you want. You're jealous. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, forget it, Tommy. They're all nice boys. Well, I'm still jealous. Very funny, very funny. You're holding up the taxi service. Listen, I have some rights, haven't I? No. Can I take you anywhere, sir? Oh, no, thanks. Not going anywhere. Hey! <coughs> well, I made it. I see you did. I thought if that invitation was still open, I, I'm all out of breath. That too. I'm not the runner I used to be. Since I passed 50, I seem to have slowed up. Besides, when I just looked, I didn't see how pretty you were. Where do you want to go? What? I'm offering you a lift, if you'll tell me where you want to go. Oh, of course. I want to go to my tailor's. I thought Uncle Sam was your tailor. Well, officers have to outfit themselves. Are you an officer? Well, can't you tell by the stripes? Mm -mm. Honest? Oh, well, then I'll have to explain what we army men call insignia. You perhaps have seen other fellows with stripes on the shoulder? Oh, yes. Well, they're just lieutenants and captains. I'm a sergeant. That's very interesting. Yes, it is, isn't it? Do you know the general? You know him. <laughs> We're like that. You are? Sure. And I like the old up. And I suppose he likes you. Well, it's not for me to say, but uh, otherwise, why should he invite me over to his house all the time for meals? Oh, you eat with him? Sure. I had breakfast over there this morning. Hey, hey, take it easy, sister. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, I hear the general has a daughter. He has. What is she like? Oh, she's a nice girl, but she looks like the general, poor thing. <laughs> What's your name? Well... I call her Cuddles. <laughs> Isn't this your tailor shop? Oh, yes, it is. I, I, I don't want to... If you're driving back, I... Yes? Uh, would you mind giving me another lift? If you'll introduce me to the general. It's a bet. <laughs> Oh, where are you? He asked me where I am. <laughs> My uniform ready yet? Uh, he asked me if it's ready. How much? <laughs> he asked me how much. Still $70. Shall we flip a coin? Double or nothing? Don't ask. <laughs> Here we are. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Aren't enlisted men punished for wearing tailor-made uniforms? Oh, no. They're only punished for getting caught wearing tailor-made uniforms. Well, then why take a chance? Well, I'm a very lucky guy. <laughs> Besides, I'm having my picture taken tomorrow for my mother. First off, am I right for tailor-made uniforms? Let me take the wheel. I haven't driven a real car since I enlisted. Horses for you. I... I know the shortest cut back to camp. Oh, kind lady, let me drive. Oh, all right, get in. <laughs> Well, camp again. 
You certainly deserve a medal for those shortcuts. I'll bet we didn't go over 30 miles out of our way. <laughs> Matt? You know what I'd do if I were the general? I know what I'd do if I were the general. What? I'd order me to take a ride with you every day. I believe this is where you get out. Yes, it is. Thanks for the lift. Oh, don't mention it. I do the same for any of the boys. Oh, of course, only I... You what? Oh, nothing. Well, good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Same to you. Good night. Right. Your uniform. Right. You know, I'm having my picture taken tomorrow. Yes, for your mother. If they turn out well, I may order some extra ones. Very sensible. Yes. Uh, did I thank you for the lift? You did. That's right, I did. Well, good night. Good night. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I've got 23 and a half hours leave tomorrow. That's nice. Yeah, the whole day. It starts at 10 in the morning. Isn't that lovely? Uh, some of the fellows make dates with girls. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. I... I don't suppose you could, uh... No, I'm afraid I couldn't. No. Well, good night. Good night. Did you toot for me? What's your name, Sergeant? Bob. Mine's Peggy. Thanks, Peggy. What time did you say your leave starts tomorrow? At 10. I'll be here to take you to the photographer. Don't be late. Late? I'll stay right here and wait. Hey, buddy, I'm not the same fellow who went out on this path. What's the idea? I'm a changed man. In here. Oh, stewed, eh? Do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah, with a glass eye. Oh. No soul, no heart, no imagination. Good night, my sad and lonely friend. I get the strangest feeling when I see stars above. Just the mention of spring and bells start to ring. It must be love. What is this new adventure that I keep dreaming of when you hear symphony? And it's just the breeze, it must be love. My heart goes bitter past, it never did that before. Blue skies dazzle my eyes, and there's a million bluebirds round my door. I'm at the gates of heaven. Waiting for a show when somebody can be as happy as me. It must be love. I get the strangest feeling when I see stars above. Just the mention of spring and bells start to ring. It must be. Symphonies 
and it's just a dream. It must be the army be if we didn't happen to be in the Hi, army General. there'd be no Next army ten. imagine if we had ten. joined the navy so long, what would the army be if we ever happened to be in the navy there'd be no army Come on! 
Who threw that tomato? I said, who threw that tomato? What tomato, sir? This tomato. Oh, that tomato. I don't know, sir. I did it, sir. Threw it at Casey. Missed, sir. You mean you missed Casey? Yes, sir. Gray, you are a menace to military discipline. One more infraction and I'll have your stripes. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right, Sergeant. Go ahead. Tommy, will you please get out of this car? I have something important to do. Well, what do you call a proposal of marriage? Something trivial? I'll have dinner with you tomorrow night. Yes, but what about my proposal? Listen, Tommy. If I were a man, a smart man, and I wanted to propose to a girl, a smart girl, I think I'd wait until I was dancing with her or something. And the music was soft, and the lights were low. That's a date. Hold on. Goodbye, Tommy. Expression on my uniform. <laughs> Gray certainly made a hit with the old man. <laughs> Something tells me the sergeant's going to be promoted. So I'll buck private. Hey, hey, you can't wear that. Orders are nothing but government stuff. Orders are for slaves. For your information, my friend. This is a uniform. Look it over, boys. You paid for it. You look awfully sweet, darling. But you can't wear it. What are you offering? I'm not offering any. But I'm taking yours on that breakfast with the general. Try and squirm out of that one. Yeah, come on, Pikers. Five will get you ten, remember? Is the sergeant going to Welch? Well... My lads, for generations the Greys have stood on their word. Yeah. Even in the face of adversity. Uh -huh. It's an old family tradition. Yeah. Uh, you mean that that still stands? It still stands. With, with patty cake? With patty cake. Oh, boy, here's Santa Claus without his beard. Boy, I'll take you for a month's pay on that one. Me too, I'm in. I'm on. Uh, yeah, put me down for ten smackers. Hey, I'll take twenty of that easy money. Great. Twenty-five I meant for me. Prepare for all. But put me down for twenty-five. <laughs> hey, Trent! Aren't you with attention? I am, Sergeant. It's the slicker that's at ease. Is that an issue, uniform? No, sir. Take it off. Yes, sir. Uniforms are discreet. Take them off. Sergeant Burke. Yes, sir. Confiscate every one of them. Turn them in. Yes. Beg pardon, sir. These men have 23 and a half hours leave today. You're uh, leaving them rather stripped, sir. We'll make out a requisition and have them replaced immediately. Yes. Sergeant Gray, have you ever read Army regulations? Yes, sir. You were issued government underwear, weren't you? Yes, sir. Then shed those dude panties. Yes, sir.
See these are sent to the supply room. So, uh, orders are for slaves, huh? Okay, slave, we'll take care of you. Hey, fellas, you said it. We told you not to start anything. Now, you smart guys are gonna find us on the payroll. You know that, don't you? Maybe I get two pair of pants. Yeah, maybe you do. Get out of here. Here, Tubbs, you look like you're pretty fast. Get your slicker and your leggings on and run that over. I'm proud to do you there. Keep yourself covered up, too. Yeah, come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Come on, get, get your leggings on. Hurry, hurry up, will you, Tubbs? I got a date. Come on, snap out of order. You make me nervous. Turn around, turn around. Don't stop and bet your horse either, will you? Hey. And if you're careful, nobody will do the difference. Careful, you're responsible boys. For this too. Hey, quit playing the house and go to work. Oh, hurry up, will you, Tubbs? She's waiting. Who? My girl. Come on, let's go. Beat it. Do you guys know that I hold you in the palm of my hand? Oh, hurry up! And don't forget what I told you. Hey, hurry up, Ron! I'll leave already. Yeah, be sure to come back. Hey, you! What's the big idea? What idea? Run around, you nighty. Listen, buddy, I got an order for a new issue. Yeah, where is it? In my pocket. Let's see it. Where is it? Wait a minute, I'll find it. Oh, yeah, you can't pull that on me. Let's go. Copper, what's you get? Come on, up. wise guy. Hey. Hey, you can't do this to me. That's right, I can't. I didn't have leave today anyway. What's my point? It's nine. Try and make it. I always make nine. <clears throat> Seven. What's the matter, buddy? The poorhouse is over the hill. <laughs> Who shoots? My dad. Look, I sleep. I'll break that up. Don't miss. He beat it. Well, I'll be. He didn't go out. He couldn't have come by us. Well, as I said, he ain't here. He pulled the Houdini. Unless he crawled through this window. I'm awfully sorry I'm late. Another five minutes and you couldn't apologize. That's what I was afraid of. Why the slicker? Well, I, uh... Oh, I know. You do? Certainly. You're afraid an officer will find out what you're wearing under it. What? That tailored uniform. You've got it on. <laughs> Peggy, you're a mind reader. Almost. Come on, get in. Uh, is that an officer over there? No, I don't see any. Well, here we go. Turn the photographers. Hey, fellas! Hey, fellas, come here, quick! Take a look at that. That bozo makes mugs of all of us and then oils out. We'll get him for this. Yeah, we'll, we'll go and take his slicker. Buddy, you've got a real idea. Here. Where the heck is Tubbs with our uniforms? Hey, gang! I've been unavoidably retained! at the end of the card. Oh, thank you. You have to make that slip. Look here. You don't mind if I ask you not to come in while I'm being done, do you? I see. I'm a poor inspiration. Oh, no. Nothing of the sort. It's just that, well, I'm funny about pictures. I don't like to have anybody around. Even when I was a kid and the family sat for a group, I, I had mine taken by myself. But I'm not going to be in the picture. Yes, I know, but, well, even one person around breaks me all up. And if I look nervous or anything, well, you know how mothers are. All right. Go in and suffer alone. I tell you what. You wait at the Rivoli Cafe. It's right next door. And, and anyway, you promised we'd have a dance there. Going down, I'll take you. Never mind. I'll get a table. But hurry.
That makes 57 soldiers so far that want their pictures by the 20th shore. That should make the next sailing date not later than the 22nd. Take this message to headquarters. I'm shipping about 2,000 prints between the 20th and the 22nd. Get that off today, sure. Uh, can you take me right away? I'm in a hurry. Certainly. Step right over here. Take off the coat, please. No, just take me like this. Well, you won't look so good in that raincoat. I'll look a lot better than without it. See? How in the world? Oh, I, uh, I loaned it to the general. What? Yeah. The poor guy had leave and had nothing to wear. Amazing. Yeah. You think every soldier has a uniform, don't you? Certainly. <laughs> That's what you think. They loan us one when we go on leave. The boys around the camp have to go around in their underwear. You don't say. It doesn't seem possible. Our great country, so rich, so powerful, and no uniform. My sitting room's froze. Darling, Siberian winters had nothing on you. You know, you were the coldest proposition I think I ever knew. And I figured my chance, oh, say, a million to one. <laughs> but I took my chances, and it looks to me like the ice is breaking. Now you're talking my language. Baby, now we're getting somewhere. You said something when you said love. Till you stepped in my kitchen. Baby, we were getting nowhere. Said nothing till you said love. You seem to know Sergeant Gray quite well. Sergeant Gray has sung for us here many times. Does he sing? Why, of course. Didn't you know it? No, it's all news to me. Would you like to order now? No, thanks. I'll wait for Here he comes now. Baby, now we're getting somewhere. You said something when you said, oh, I love you. You said something when you said no. Sergeant Gay. Hello, Paul. Two orders of everything. Yes. Was I long? No, not very. No officers. You can take off your slicker now. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but I... Uh, well, I've looked everywhere, and there isn't an officer in the... Just my luck. Come on, let's dance anyway. We're hot. This is the car. Okay, that's the bus, all right. How about taking a look in there? Okay. I'll search this building. Deploy and cover the neighborhood. <laughs> Paul tells everything he knows. It's no use. That guy's the invisible man. Yeah? Well, he was in there 15 minutes ago. How about camping right here in this bus? Hey! Wait here. We've got one more chance. Sergeant. Hello, Eddie. How about a song? Oh, no, I... Please, Bob. Well, all right. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one of our most popular papers, Sergeant Gray. Uh, good night, my lucky day. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the art of parting calls for a 
General has ordered the immediate confiscation of all slickers. We're very sorry to trouble you at uh, a time like this, but we must have that slicker at once. Oh, listen, Beans, have a heart. You can come out with this, or we'll take that slicker here. All right, I'll go outside. I gotta give my girlfriend an alibi. Okay. I, uh, I have to attend to an important matter for my, uh, pal, but I'll be back. Will you excuse me? Certainly. But don't be too long. <laughs> Romeo, take it off. Now, then, fellas. Come on, get it. Get that slicker. Get that slicker. Go on. I got him. You got it? Sergeant regrets his unavoidable absence for the moment and wants you to have his uh, coat room check for his slicker. It's time we get out of here. The fellow looks like a plant. Maybe intelligence department. Better start packing right away.
Going down. I knew you were here. I saw your car out in the front. Hello, Tommy. Anybody sitting here? Yes. Uh, no. That is, there was someone, but... Uh... His name? I forgot. Good. Shall we dance? Shut up. Heavy guns ready. This guy is dangerous. Right in there. That's him. Hey, wait a minute. I'm Sergeant Gray, headquarters company. <laughs> sure you are, and I'm Secretary of War. Put the braces on him. What about these two? We'll take them. I'll call headquarters. Attention to roll call. Sergeant Penning. Sergeant Banning. Huh? Sergeant Tubbs. Huh? Sergeant Turner. Huh? Sergeant Solomon. Huh? Sergeant Gray. Sergeant Gray. Sergeant Gray. Sergeant Schultz. Huh? Sergeant Squibb. Huh? Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning. Any reports? Yes, sir. Rather unusual one. All the men of headquarters company were without their uniforms yesterday. Without their uniforms? Yes, sir. I'll answer that. Daddy, what happened to a soldier who was AWOL? Court martialed. But supposing he has a good reason? No soldier ever has a good reason. Chief of the city police on the phone, sir. What you want? He requests that you come to his office at once, sir. Says they have arrested three important enemy agents. Good. Says that one of them claims to be a soldier of this division. One of our men, an enemy agent? Ridiculous. The chief seems to think it's true, sir. Hmm. Well, that may account for these leaks. Come on. Yes, sir. Captain Burns, uh, meet General Markley. General, Captain is with our intelligence department. He can give you all the details. Captain, the chief tells me you have captured three very important enemy agents. Only two, General. The third man is the sergeant in headquarters company and was the direct means of capturing the enemy agents. I was just about to release him. We can always depend on our men in any emergency. What's his name? Sergeant Robert Gray. Sergeant Gray. Fine soldier. Splendid chap. Had my eye on him for a long time. Maloney. Maloney? I was calling my assistant, Maloney, to have Gray brought in. Never mind. I'll release Gray myself. He's entitled to it. Lock the cell, will you please? Yes, sir. Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. But it's all right now. Well, my daughter seems to know you, Sergeant. Why, yes, Daddy. We're old friends. Taxi service, you know. Hmm. I want to congratulate you, Sergeant. You've done a fine piece of work. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We need men like you. I'll keep you in mind for uh, possible promotion. Thank you, sir. Captain, in your report to the Intelligence Department, don't forget to give proper credit to Sergeant Gray. Yes, sir. Daddy. You haven't had breakfast yet. Don't you think you and Have you had breakfast, Sergeant? Um, yes, sir. Well, come on then.
What's this? Check for your slicker. You're liable to need it. Come on. See anything you like there, Sergeant? Sausages and uh, wheat cakes would do for me, sir. I should have known it would be you, Gray. Bring me an order of loads of patty cakes. What do you want, Tommy? Raspberries, sir. Very kind of you, sir, to ask me to breakfast. Don't mention it. I hope you enjoyed the patty cakes. Beg pardon, sir? I say, I hope you enjoyed the patty cakes. Oh, very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Sergeant, take my daughter home. Uh, as soon as she's ready. Yes, sir. See you later, Peggy. Goodbye, Dad. And we have to pay him off. The war ain't gonna last that long. But you haven't left yet. Maybe we'll still have time for girl stuck at the river lake. <laughs> I have a hunch we're leaving tonight. I'm afraid you're right. Do you mind if I sing? Do you mind if he sings? I wouldn't bet a quarter that my mental state is what it ought to be. For me. The weather makes me dizzy and my head keeps buzzing like a busy bee. Oh, dear. Apparently, I'm healthy. I'm much too young to die. I've got a premonition Mr. Cupid's gonna proposition me. I get the strangest feeling when I see stars above. Just the mention of spring and bells start to ring. It must be love. What is this new adventure that I keep dreaming? When you hear symphonies and it's just a breeze, it must be love. My heart goes pitter-pat, it never did that before. Blue skies dazzle my eyes and there's a million bluebirds on my door. I'm at the gates of heaven, just waiting for the song, when somebody can be as happy as me, it must be long. That guy is out of uniform. Say goodbye. Me too. All right, then. What is this new adventure that I keep dreaming of? When you hear symphony and it's just a dream, it must be. What are you doing in those clothes? an acute attack of heart trouble. Out of uniform and A.W.O.L. You're under arrest. Come on, come on. 
The general comes to my wedding. Thank you.